guys and welcome to the latest episode of the motorbike restoration project as you probably saw in my last video we were busy cleaning the frame off trying to get all the grease and grime off it so we get a clear indication of what needs doing if, if anything needs doing so without further ado we'll uh, fly over to the frame and we'll have a look and I can show you uh, what work I might need to carry out Right, here's the frame. We've got it up on the bench, so it's uh, at eye level, so it's easier to work with. Uh, I've gone handheld for this section, so sorry if the camera's a bit shaky and all over the place. I'll try my best for you. Uh, so yeah, overall condition of the frame is good. There's a, a lot of surface rust here and there, mainly where bits and pieces bolted on or underneath the seat or underneath the engine. Um, nothing major to worry about. Um, on a first visual inspection uh, around the engine, uh, compartment uh, I was looking for any stress cracks in the frame everything seems to be okay but again we'll um, we know more once it's all been stripped of paint um, so yeah the overall condition is, is really good what I'll do is I'll stick you back on the tripod and then we'll just carry on uh, talking through the frame quickly all right there you go now uh, yeah so overall condition of frame is really good very happy with it um, I'm going to strip it back to bare metal. Uh, I don't know what process I'm going to use for that. I need to to shop around. Obviously, you can go and get it dipped, acid dipped, or something like that. But we'll um, we'll have a shop around and see what's best process for it all in regards to doing it. Obviously, what I'm going to have an issue because you've got this the, the chassis plate here, um, which looks like it's just held on with a couple of rivets it might be just a matter of um, drilling them out but obviously I don't want that dipped if I do go for the acid idea um, but yeah get it stripped back to bare metal uh, and then thinking about painting it back up I'll probably just go for the standard black just to uh, it's just easy <laughs> so it's no point in doing any fancy colour it's not a fancy bike I'm not trying to make a you know a, a, a chopper or anything like that it's just simply just restoring it back to how it was pretty much when it came out of the factory so that would be put to one side uh, the next thing I'll probably work on well I haven't decided I might start stripping the engine down or I might start on the bodywork start rubbing that all down getting that all prepped again there's a lot of surface rust uh, the tank I'm mainly worried about but You'll see that in an in, in upcoming episode. So thanks for watching. Um, just want to say a quick thank you to all the new subscribers as well to the channel. Welcome aboard. Hope you enjoy the videos. Um, if you've got any helpful tips, hints, anything like that, if you've done this before or, or anything like that, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you are just popping along and checking the channel out, you know, thanks a lot. And please hit the subscribe button because there's lots more videos to come in the future. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.